This is training for the audiovisual in room U1024, which is the U Auditorium. First thing you do when you come into the room, keep in mind you've got three separate rooms. 24 over here on the right is 22, and the left is 26. So if you're going to reserve this space in 25 Live, make sure you reserve all three rooms if that's what you want. Our lighting panel is right here when you first walk in. The very bottom of the preset buttons is all off. A very top of the preset buttons is all on. Next to that is your uh, roller shade control and then your projector screen control. So this is a toggle switch. When it's all the way down, it'll stay clicked down. That's having the roller shades all the way down. And then you can see that's all the way up. So to raise them, you simply go to the middle is off and then all the way up and that will raise the roller shades. We're gonna keep these down for right now. Uh, and then also over here we have the projector screens. Now the projector screens are controlled by the touch system which I will get to in just a moment. So you do not need to worry about uh, lowering the screens using this switch. I am gonna point out over here, I'm gonna go from the second from the bottom on the lighting panel. And the reason for that is there are projector screens that come down and the lights right in front of those screens will be off if you use that second from the bottom. If you use something higher up, then all the lights come on. It's very bright, it's very nice. But uh, if you're gonna be projecting, you want that second from the bottom button. Now, in order for to turn all the audio visual on, you have this touch screen control. Press it once, you get a menu. This menu was updated in 2018. So, do you want to have just your combined audio only? You're going to come in, you've got a room full of people, you want to use a microphone that works in all three spaces, that's the combined audio only. Your other choice here at the top for center room audio combined means that you plan on having people sitting everywhere. They're all looking this way, as you can see from this setup, but the only screen that you need turned on is this one right here in the center room. If you choose all separate, that's gonna break up the spaces so that way you're only getting audio in this middle room. Over there, you'll get audio specific only to that room, and that's controlled from the panels over there. And in this room, same thing. You've got a panel over there, you have a teacher station over there, there's a microphone separate for that room only. So all separate means all three of these rooms operate independently. All combined means all of the room's audio comes on and all of the projector screens come on. You got a projector screen on this wall and one on this wall, as well as the one against the glass here in the center room. For the moment, I'm gonna go ahead and go to combined audio, center room combined audio. Center room combined audio, and I'm gonna get my computer turned on. Now, that means that the projector screen will come down in this room, but not in room 22, or in room 26. If I want those on, I should have chosen all combined. Right now I want just this screen. The projector will turn on automatically, but now my microphone will work in all three rooms. So I have a microphone up on top here. Uh, I've been saying rooms 22, 24, and 26. They're also labeled A, B, C. So 22 is A, room B, is 24 and room C is 26. So when you're looking at the microphones, if you happen to be on the B microphone, if you're in all separate, B refers to the middle room. A is the microphone over there. If you're in combined audio, A will work in all three rooms, B will work in all three rooms. If you're in all separate, A will only work in that area, C will only work in that area. Now my projector screen's coming up. If you've logged in, if you haven't logged in already, log into your computer. I did, so right now, I have a computer signal up on my screen. Over here I've got my touch screen, just a couple of quick things to look at. My display is on. If I mute it, it will blank out the screen. And then when I unmute it, my screen comes back on. Notice my cursor right there in the middle, right? Cursor's right in the middle. If I freeze my screen, that will freeze this image as is. It tells me right there that it's, it's under freeze. So now, if I have like a welcome screen, and I'm here a little bit before my presentation, I can freeze my welcome screen, and then over here I can go back to working, and I can do this, and 
I can open stuff and uh, I can be actively using my computer, preparing or making updates or notes to my presentation, but the whole time, my welcome screen is frozen up out there. So it's really nice when people are walking in, rather than having a blank screen, or having to listen to the projector screen lower when they enter, this way, everything's up and running, and you just simply freeze the image. And then to unfreeze, we'll just press the freeze button again. And now you can see, now it's updated. Now keep in mind, whatever you're on here is what will project as soon as you unfreeze. Additionally, over here, you have a little bit of audio control. If you press this button, it's gonna tell you uh, all three microphones working, into, uh, working as a group you can increase their volume, and then each individual room, you can increase speaker volume. For the most part, you're not gonna really have to do this. There's not a whole lot of reason. But if you've got your computer going and you're playing a video and you feel like room A needs a little bit more volume, or room C, maybe, you, you know, whatever, you can make adjustments. Uh, and then additionally, over here in the utility button, if you need it, you've got the screen A, screen B, and screen C. Now I mentioned that you have individual controls in the back wall, but we also can control them through the touch panel over here. So if it turns out that I've got a group in here and I'm presenting, and I actually want them to also be in room C, and I want that screen on for some reason, I've got someone who's, maybe there's a small group and they're, they're sitting in squares as opposed to classroom style looking forward, I can go ahead and I can lower the screen in C, and now my screen's gonna come down and I can turn that projector on. Now that projector is on. And then you also have the ability to mute and freeze that screen. So perhaps your welcome is up on the sides and then you freeze it and then you can move on from there. So once you close this, now you have to get into where your signal is being sent. Now we have a combined setup right now. So most likely my computer signal will show up over there as well. But in the event that it didn't, what I'd say is, is I'm in room B and I want to send my VGA and I want to send it to room C. Now, if it wasn't there, I've just sent it there as well. Um, and then uh, keep in mind that right now, the way this is set up, the, the windows are open. So this screen's kind of washed out. I would recommend lowering the roller shades if people are going to actively be using this screen. In this room, if you're projecting, you definitely need to have the roller shades closed uh, just because the way that people are looking at the screen, it's much more attractive that way to see. And over here, I have the windows open. I've got the roller shades up because I'm not worrying about projecting. Uh, a couple things to keep in mind. If you're bringing a laptop, you want to use your own signal. We have a, a laptop uh, cable up on top. You can plug your VGA into your port, or if you're bringing your own laptop and you have a display port or HDMI output on that laptop, you'll have to get an adapter that will convert it to VGA, so that way you can then use this blue button and switch between the, uh, the local computer and the laptop. So this button's a blue button. When you press this, my image goes away because now it's looking for a signal coming from here. Obviously there's nothing hooked up, so I'm getting a black screen. If you happen to walk in and you notice that the screen is black, but you know everything's turned on, something to always check is, is it set to the two white dots or the one white dot? Because right now it's set to the two, so it's looking for the laptop. If I press it again, it goes to one white dot, now it's looking for my VGA signal from my local computer. Additionally, you have a USB port if you need to plug in uh, a device, a wireless presenter, you got a laser pointer up on top, um, and then you can advance your PowerPoint slides using the forward arrows. The thumb is actually a mouse cursor, so as you're looking at my screen, you can see I'm actually controlling my cursor with my thumb. You have your typical left trigger on the bottom, and then you have a, um, a right trigger up on top if you need to use it. You know, if you're looking for a menu, you would right trigger. Uh, if you're looking to click on something, then you would left trigger. Uh, additionally, I just want to point out that inside the uh, station here, we have a supply of batteries. So if you're using a microphone and you need to use, uh, you, you know, you find that your battery is dead, you can go into here. We do keep a supply of batteries. If you use the batteries, let media services know, please, because uh, our phone number is right there. Heck, there's even a phone right up on top. You can call us 2281. Let us know that you've used a battery. That way, 
uh, we know to replace them. Certainly we've had instructors come in and all the batteries have been used up and then they don't have the ability to use a microphone themselves. This is also where we will put additional microphones. So if you ask to have extra microphones, we'll put them in here. And then um, uh, we just ask that you put them back inside there. Uh, the computers inside here, we have it locked up. That's why you have your USB port available here to plug in. Um, if you bring in a device and you really need to be able to use your HDMI, let's say you bring a laptop in, you got your own laptop cable, but um, uh, you need to be able to use it. There is a, a, a HDMI port on the wall that you can plug into, in which case then we are in room B. You would say, I am in room B. I want to use my HDMI. The only thing is, is the HDMI sends directly from plate to projector. So you cannot put that signal in the, in the two side rooms. So when you use the HDMI in a room, it's specific to that room. So just to reset this back to the way it was, I'm in room B, I'm gonna take my VGA and I'm gonna send it to all three rooms here. So now I'll have it back over here and I'll have it back over here. You're seeing something on the floor that's not typically there. Please don't be distracted. Um, lastly, when things are all done, you go over to the system off button. You press this button and it's gonna say, did you mean to push that button? Was it an accident? And if it wasn't, please press this green power down button. It's very important that everybody shut down the equipment when they're all done. Uh, it turns the projectors off. It saves the life of the projectors. It has effect only on the projectors and the screens. It does not change the lighting system. It does not change the roller shades. Good luck. If you have any concerns, uh, give me services a phone call, 2281.